brown and I'm white. That's Look because I went surfing in Montauk. I went surfing in Montauk. <laughs> and I stayed home and worked. Hmm. Mm. And we all went to the uh, Museum of Sex, the Planned Parenthood last fundraiser. Night. Last night, yes. We were a part of the auction. You they auctioned, did it with us. They, they auctioned au us. Do we find out who won? I know who won. I don't know who won. Amanda's going to email us, but I wonder how much it was. I was so afraid no one was going to bid on us. Stop it. How can you have such an inferiority complex? I, I can't know. believe it. You're not my granddaughter. Well, maybe I need to do a body sex group. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, golly, that was a very wonderful segue. Yes. <laughs> How brilliant you are. Well, it's done in the nude. Yes. All and women. It's always all women. It's the high priestesses returning to the temple. You enter nude, 13 women in a circle. Yes. And we go around the mm -hmm. circle, and I always go first because I model the process. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's how do you feel about your body and how do you feel about your orgasms. And no one ever asks you that in the real world. And at the end of the day, mm -hmm. we do genital show and tell. And now, can tell the story of how you came up with that. Because it's so brilliant when oh, you go through it. And you look at everyone because everyone looks different and there's a range of looks. And you go, oh, look at that. That's brown. That's pink. That's, that's long. Short. That's it dangles. Whatever. So it was like, I, you know, I came up with some of these concepts, but the women were really the ones. That's what I love about it. That led me. That led me. That led the way. That first time, we, I, I, we showed the the genital, the female genital slides that I had done for now, and we put this. I put them up on the wall. I didn't even have a screen. A little slide projector. <laughs> click, <laughs> click. And we looked at, and they were, oh, look at that. Oh, I have that. And then I said, I always thought I was genital genitally deformed Love because I have these inner lips. And I reached down, and I opened up the outer lips. And they fell out, and someone goes, it was Joan. She said, oh, I have to save me. Oh, it's in she opens her leg, and we look at hers, and she said, I've hated my sex organ my entire life. And I think one of the women, her husband, said, there's something wrong with you down there. You should go see the gynecologist. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, come I'm on. How can you be so surprised? Young girls today are having them surgically removed. So you're insecurity about your body led to the practice having general show and tell to get past that so other women can say oh I look like that and everyone goes oh I look like that too and then we're over it normalizing the genital show and tell mm -hmm. ritual was so powerful it you know immediately became part the, of the well yeah, it was the first day and then what that did and you as, as you experienced in our group bonding this is yeah. the bonding it's a bonding that moment take between place. women yes how did you get to masturbation? Because we masturbate in the circle. And that was really amazing because of that one woman, she kept on orgasming, and her orgasm sounds, it would... Trigger... It trigger. was like a domino effect right around the circle. Every yeah. woman would have an orgasm. Yeah. How did you come up with that? Once again, it was, I didn't come up with it. I mean, I had done group sex, and I had done... Uh, mm -hmm. I'd shared masturbation uh, in, in a small group. I mean, we yeah, used yeah. to think it was fun. And what happened was... Uh, I shared with the group, I had a fantasy. Of course. For years I had a fantasy about, you know, how did you think of doing the workshops? Well, it was actually, it was a sexual fantasy. I used to have a fantasy That's that I was a sex teacher, and I had all of these, as soon as I became a feminist, this was, you know, part You're of You're in the temple. Uh, yes, and this was, I, I was teaching this class, and, and we would all masturbate together, and we would have a simulta simultaneous orgasm. A simultaneous group orgasm. That's even yeah. And the energy <laughs> would go throughout the whole building, and everybody who was in the building at the time would get a sexual charge. And everyone would start fucking like in that. the elevators, in the stairwell, down in the laundry room, and then these were all little different kinky vignettes that I could construct. So I said the fantasy, and one of the women said, "Oh, let's do it now!" And I. <laughs> What? And, and another one said, oh, that would be so much fun. And so immediately Sheila runs into the back room, gets, we always kept a case of vibrators for of, women. But of course you always have a case of vibrators in you. <laughs> well, no, because I'd run the workshop. I know, but it's very cute the way you say it. <laughs> so Sheila got the case of I've got to have a dozen of them right here. <laughs> That I went and got the extension cords from the kitchen. We plugged them in and we went to town, baby. <laughs> Don't forget the whole group. Why we just have women over and masturbate in a circle? I would love it. Let's do it. Let's I do it now. I think that's a good idea. Let's go masturbate in the circle. I got to get on the phone. 
Okay. <laughs> Happy Friday. <laughs> Let AdamEve.com spice up your routine. Right now, you'll save 50% on one item when you enter the offer code POD10 at checkout. So go to AdamEve.com and add some spice to your life.